hello and welcome back to the channel today we are diving into google sheets the powerful free spreadsheet tool that is perfect for managing your data tracking projects and collaborating in real time uh, with your fellow workers or students whether you are a beginner or just looking to sharpen your skills i want you to stick around because there is definitely something for you so let's get started so usually to access google forms you can do that from your um, google meet application uh, anywhere from your email you can come to the google apps over here and you'll be able to see google forms you can see it down here forms you can see it here and because of convenience you can be able to drag it and move it to the top so you have quick access to it alternatively you can come to anywhere and just type forms.google.com and it's going to open a fresh blank google form for you so this is Google Forms. You can start from scratch um, or from a blank form. And over here, you'll be able to see all the forms that you've worked on, what you have accessed, and maybe the responses. I'll show you in detail how some of these responses, how do we collect them and how to analyze them later when we linked with Google Sheet and so on. And then you can start from template over here. You can choose to start from template, which you can see most of them. You can see um, there are lots of templates depending on the kind of work you're doing. Is it work related or is it education related or, or quizzes? You can create quizzes or etiquette or assessment or course evaluation. You can select on any of these and you're able to customize it to your liking depending on the content or kind of uh, um, target you have. So for example, you can go with assessment here and you'll be able to see this is just an example of an assessment form which requires you to have a description um a title of the no thanks uh, so you have a title of the form and then a little bit of a description and then you have the questions down here so this question one to where it is required for you to type your name and this is where you have to have your email address you have your uh, your quiz questions so this question your first question these are options your second question these are options and then you can have other description maybe of uh, a title and then you you can continue to have more um, later i will show you in detail how to create all this and um, this red sign just signifies that this is a required option before you move before you so you can submit this form this is a requirement so let's go back and let's create a form from scratch so let's start from a blank page you can come to a blank page what you usually do is you have to give the form a name usually you can type the name over here so for example you can say toastmasters meeting so this is our toastmasters meeting for example so you can have this to be the title as well and so you have to put in a description of what this toastmasters meeting is all about so assuming i have this text welcome to utp toastmasters club page we are glad to have you here so this is just like an introductory message and then you can decide to have a poster or something like that but then at this point maybe you may not need a poster later i'll show you how to add a poster so the next thing is this is just a brief message welcoming message by the x course and then you can have your first question what do you want people to write as part of the question so you can type in your name for example and you can see quickly that google form was able to realize that name is a short answer so it has given you a short answer as part of the option so you can make this a requirement if you want it to be a requirement and it will be marked with that red sign before someone can submit this form it must be filled and then you can duplicate this if you want uh, there are different type of answers that you may have you can have short answer you can have paragraphs you can have multiple choice depending on the kind of questions that you have sometimes you may have check boxes and you can have drop downs i'll show you how to use some of them so you can come over and this is the first question is done so you can add another question with this plus sign you can see so you can now put your email address for example we need your email address and it also equally detect that this is a short answer okay so next one we can just add and maybe we may need your biography um biography so it equally detect that this is a paragraph because biography is something that entails a lot of details about you so you quickly know that this is a long answer it requires someone to provide a long answer so this is how to add questions of different types okay so here we can add another question and we can say that how was your day how was your day and then we can have options 
For example, we can give uh, chat boxes. Uh, the first option can be very well, very good. For example, I say very good. And then I can hit enter and put option two, which can be not so good. And then we can put another one and say bad. And in some cases, you may have order as an option. So you can click on this. Maybe someone can describe something. So we can say very good, not so good, bad, other. Okay, so maybe you're feeling happy or something. So you'll be able to do put in all this. And if it's a requirement, you can enable all this as well. And then you can notice that you can add an image, okay, to the question to just describe this. You can add an image to support this question. And another thing is you can hold the questions and navigate and change their position. If you want, readjust them, you can do that. Next is we can import a question. If you want to import a question from an available, already available form that you've created, you can import the question in here and you'll be able to continue. And then over here, you can add text. For example, here, I want to put in some description also. Uh, so let's say membership description or status. So let's say here, I want someone to tell us about his membership status. And then here we will just uh, put in some discussion. So this section captures questions. So this is just um, a description. So this section captures questions that have to do with members membership. Okay, these are membership questions. So we can go ahead and add another question, for example, under this text or under this subheading you can add another question and say when did you join toastmasters and then you can add in the date uh, it has already automatically detected that this is something that has to do with date if it is not a date then you can put in something this is the uh, the default that it has given you month day and year so during your answer you'll be able to put in that and then you can add an image directly so let's say we want to add an image you can import and upload an image and use or you can use an image from the webcam or you can add from google photos for example i can say i like this photo so let's add in this photo inside this photo so you can see right now it is coming so this section talks about your part your membership okay youtube partnership program so this is just an example so you can see your membership the membership evidence you can say this okay so this is the image you are free to check on these three dots and you can align left center right or you can change the image or remove it as you so wish. So this is just how to add the question gradu gradually. You can see, and you can add videos as well. If you have a video, you can upload, upload it. Maybe I put in the YouTube link and you can upload very easily here. Assuming I don't want to add a video here, you can add sections. Okay. So in cases when you don't want people to keep track of maybe you to, in one page for them to have 40 questions but you have 40 questions you know sometimes it can be discouraging so if you put it 10 questions then click on next you go to the next section that's the advantage of using sections okay so these sections can be bio data all right so this is a section about bio data you can put in the description Okay, so this section takes in information about your bio data. Okay, so you can just add one or two questions and that's it. So let's say we add, let's say we add another question, maybe upload your secondary school certificate, your one of your certificates. So upload your certificates. So you now let respondent upload files directly, continue. So this is going to let them to upload files. So you can see upload your highest qualification yeah okay so you can enable uh, allow specific file types if you want to allow you can enable this and you can select between the file types is it a pdf a video or um, a spreadsheet or an image of different types you can select and the size and as well you can define from here uh, the maximum you can take okay the default is 10 megabytes you can define how much you can take and you'll be able to view the submissions on this uh, platform on your google drive you can make it a requirement or not of also if you want and then let's add one more and this is going to be the last question could be a drop down okay a drop down option um when is your wedding anniversary okay so it could be a drop down so you can just put in options um today tomorrow next tomorrow okay 
So this is just a test, okay? So you can see right now we have these questions and we have these sections just for your own uh, consumption. Okay, so let's say the last questions we have, it's something that has to do with um, drop down. Second, the last could be upload a question, which I have just added. And then the last one is, when is your anniversary? Okay, so when is your anniversary? Could be a drop down. I just uh, made it like this. And let's say we have saved everything. So the first thing that we need to do, so these are just the very basic things we've selected and we've created our form. So you can see over here, you can change the theme of the form. Generally, you can change the write-up, how you want the header, the questions, and then the sizing, so on the text, you can vary from here. And the header, you can choose from a header that you have over here. There are different kind of headers depending on your niche. This is birthday, this is food, this is party and wedding. And if you don't have the, if what you have here is not something that you like, you can go ahead also and upload your own. But because what we're, what we're having is something that has to do with academics, let's say I select something like this and I can just insert it as my header. Okay, but if you don't want this, you can as well go to Canva or other platforms and design some from the templates, simple ones that you can use over here. And you can choose the, uh, the coloration, the color uh, that you want. You can change the color accordingly. You can see, you can select uh, accordingly. And then you can have background color. This is now the background, but if you want, you can change. You can change to any of this color, all right? Or you can check out more coloration from here and select any of your choice, okay? So this is it. This is background. You can change accordingly. And then this is theme. You can change the overall theme. And over here, this is the preview. What will you see if you click on this form or if this form is ready? So you can click on this preview and people will be able to see it. So this is my preview of the form that we've just created. This is it. Welcome to uh, UTP Toastmasters Club. And these are the details. So you have to be logged in. So you put in your name, your email address, your biography, uh, how was your day? You can tick, you remember the type of questions that we have. You can just tick to answer the question. And when is your, when did you join Toastmasters? You can just click and you can put in the date or you can click on this to just select a day and it will automatically be put out. So this is the picture we've inserted. And then you can click on next to go to the next uh, option. Okay, so assuming we just want to answer this roughly. Okay, so my email. For example, this is just an example biography. You can just write something and then you can just select any date. You can come to next, which is now going to take you to the next section like we've explained. So this is next section. You have to upload your highest qualification. Of course, you just click and upload. Okay, so you can upload. Assuming I want to browse my computer and just upload something. All right, so you can just come over here, select any JPEG document and just upload as your qualification. And you can see the key thing is to just demonstrate that this is doable. So you've just uploaded. When is your anniversary? You can say today. You can see this is a drop down question, like I've explained. So if you have everything ready, once you click on this, it's going to submit this as a response. And uh, the, the owner is going to see, the admin is going to see this as a response from you. Now we can check over here. Let's come back over here. You may want to submit. Let's submit. So when you submit this, it's going to be counted as um, an option. So you can see your response has been recorded. You've submitted. And back in the form, you'll be able to see now we have one response. If you'll be able to see these are the details I've provided as a response. Okay. So once you finish uh, writing, typing the questions, you can just go ahead and send this. And this enables you to send the link via an email. You can just type in whose email do you want to uh, invite. For example, I want to invite Epic Mentorship or you can put multiple. If you want to invite um, someone also here, you can just go ahead and invite him and type in his email. Okay, let's say I want Epic Mentorship 3 to be able to, you can sell multiple and you can put in the subject and you are invited to fill out this form. This is just general, generic. If you want, you can copy the link, which is most people used to do. You can set in the link and you can shorten it here so it becomes shorter for ease of access. And then if you want, you can get the embed code. Okay, this is an embedded code. You can get embedded code, although you cannot get it from here at the moment. And if you want to collect email addresses, you'll be able to collect email address. So people that fill the form, 
you have their email address. Do not collect at this moment is a default, but if you want, you can set it to collect email for you. So you can add people also to, to serve as editors or thereby you can customize the permission if you want. So this is about sending the form. Once you are ready, once you just, um, if this is, if you want to send an email, fine. If you want to send the link, I usually send the link so I can just copy this and send somewhere. So person that opens this is automatically going to have access. Once you paste it somewhere, is going to have access to the form that we've just created, which is this one. So you can see this is an empty form. You can just have access and go ahead and fill up and we'll have our own response. So this is um, the first way, okay? So you can see, you can customize other things. For example, you can still come back to these three dots and you'll be able to make a copy of this form. You can move it to trash, get pre-filled ink, uh, link or you can print or add collaborators um, script editor you can assign all these and then you check out keyboard shortcuts but, but what i want to show you is it has something to do with the settings so you can come to settings over here and you can set, collect email you can enable also or disable over here make a quiz out of this you can make it a quiz if you want or you can go ahead and check in other this you can limit to one response so anyone who submits once cannot submit again so you can enable it over here or disable total size limit of uploaded files you can set this to one gig or the about you can change and presentations manage how the form and the responses are presented you can change this also from here and there are other defaults like form default question default you can check all these if you are interested but then this is just um, a general overview of how the forms is being created. If anytime you at any point you want to access your form, you can come over here to this. You can move it to this is basically a domicile in your drive. If you want to move it to a specified folder, you can move to a specified folder within your drive. Or if you want to create a folder, you can as well create a folder and move it over there. So it's as easy as that. Okay, so you can select and save on any folder or you can create a new folder and just uh, name the folder and then you can uh, move it to that particular location. So you can say move here and this form is going to be moved there. Like now we have submitted this, you can see the response, your response has been recorded. If you want to change the message, the thank you message that is going to appear when someone submit, you can do that also from here. You come to these settings. So you can come over here, presentation, manage how your responses are so this is it, confirmatory message, confirmation message. Your response has been recorded. This is it, you can edit and make it. Thank you for submitting. We will get back to you shortly. Okay, so you can make this. So anybody who submits is going to receive this message. So this is it. So depending on how many responses you've got, for example, in this case, this is a UTP Toastmasters Club responses that we've got from an event that we've conducted. You can come to the responses and you'll be able to see the summary of everybody, all the people that have submitted. Um, this is a summary of the responses. And based on questions, you can see the summary also. You can move page by page. How, uh, how do they answer the questions? And individuals, you can be able to take in their responses and you'll be able to move also from one response to the next. Okay, you'll be able to move from one response to the next and be able to see the answers and responses. And then one last thing is you can link this up to Google Sheet. Once you click here, it's going to take you to Google Sheet and you'll be able to have access to all the responses that people have submitted in this particular form. So you can see right now we have this, um, this much responses and you can see over here and you'll be able to plot in different kind of charts as regards this data that you've collected and go ahead and do some um, very basic analysis with it. So ladies and gentlemen, this is just a bit about how to use Google Forms to um, create forms, surveys, questionnaires, and so on, and share with your friends and colleagues or students to respond directly. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.